Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you my new quilt boxes that I just ordered from Dadant. Um, I chose these ones specifically, and I will show you why in a second. Um, Dadant's the only place where I can find this feature. <laughs> so, this is your quilt box. It'll go on top of your top box, basically. We've got wire mesh on the bottom. And this one has four vents. There they are. So we want that moisture from the bees flapping their wings and trying to stay warm all winter to evaporate. Because if that stays in the hive, the bees are gonna drown. And that would be a bad thing, obviously. So this would go on the very top. And what I am choosing to do is I bought some standard pillowcases, filled it with wood shavings, and that's going to go in the top. I'll have to you know, smush it out a little bit as, when I get it down to the hives. But that's going to absorb a lot of the moisture by itself. And, you know, probably every, um, every six to eight weeks, maybe, I can just... Go in there, grab the pillowcase out, put a new one in, and they'll have dry shavings again and continue on with their day. But the one nice thing that I liked about these ones, and the main reason I chose this, was the little drawer in the front here. So when it's time to go check and see, well, do my bees still have any fondant or how are they doing on their um, candy board and all that, this little thing is magnetic. It's got the little hinges there. Yeah, maybe. There they are, the little hinges on the end. And they just slide in so these, and so I'll be able to just take those off real quick. I can stick a fondant patty in there if they are in need of food. And I don't have to take the entire hive apart when it is negative 15 degrees here in Colorado. So I liked that feature. <laughs> um, they do actually sell the parts if you are handy and want to make your own. I do believe I've seen just those little parts on the website and you can cut your quilt box apart a little bit and make room for these little drawers if you want to go that direction like I did. And so I just snap it back in there. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Oh I can. Look at that. And then they're set until the next time I need to check their food. So, again, really nice having four vents and the little drawer, because I don't really want to take this whole thing apart when it's cold. And I'll just have my pillowcase. And then top cover will just go on top of that, and they will be ready to go. And I will go ahead and put a link for these specific quilt boxes down below if you want to order some of these for yourself. So make sure that you subscribe and follow along for more tips and tricks on how to take care of your bees. I'll see you next time.